friends and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to work on a soft pastel painting. I've been a watercolor artist for 40 years, but I've been playing around with soft pastels for a few months now and I love them. No washing brushes or palettes or waiting for paint to dry. Just a little pastel dust. We do have to be careful though that we don't breathe in the dust if possible. But I'm really enjoying the pastels. Easier cleanup, less mess. The photo reference I've used is from Pixabay and the photographer is Summer. Pixabay is a site I use often for free photo reference, but you need to check each and every image to see what the copyright restrictions are in terms of how you can use each photo. Most of them are completely free to use for creating and selling your artwork. But again, just check each image ahead of time so you don't run into any legal trouble. I'm not sponsored by Pixabay. I just love their website. The paper I've used here is Cants and Mitants paper. It's an unsanded pastel paper and very affordable. I find it holds quite a few layers of pastel. I prefer a little bit more grit to my pastel paper, but I thought I'd try this uh, Mitants paper because it is so affordable and I found it pretty good. And I'm using the back side of the paper just because the front side has a honeycomb texture that I don't really care for. The pastels I'm using are mostly Sennelier soft pastels and a few cheaper Mungio, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Mungio soft pastels, they're student grade. And I don't have many soft pastels yet since I'm only been using them a few months, but I did buy the Sennelier Paris collection. It's a set of 120 half sticks and I found them on sale from Amazon. Eventually I'll add more soft pastels to my collection, but for now that's going to have to wait. <laughs> they are pretty expensive if you want to invest in high quality pastels and I think it's worth it. To transfer the drawing to the paper, I just use the grid methods, making sure I use the same number of squares across and down on the photo as I use on my drawing, and then I can just kind of uh, eyeball it, and it just makes it a little easier to use the grid. So here I'm just using a kneadable eraser and removing the grid lines after I'm all finished with the drawing. It picks up really nicely and it doesn't hurt the paper. So I'm just speeding through this. I didn't want to bore you. I'm just going to speed through this video. Um, and you can always, on YouTube, you can always go into the settings and slow down the speed if you want to have a closer look. But otherwise, the video would just be too long. So here I'm using some Sennelier uh, pastels just to add some highlights to the egret and I'll probably just let you watch the video and I might pop on every once in a while if I think of something to add to the video but otherwise I'll just let you watch and enjoy. I just wanted to mention quick that I, I find on this paper it's helpful to rub in the initial layers. I mean, you don't have to, but I wasn't sure exactly how many layers this paper would hold, so I didn't want to use up all of the tooth of the paper since Sennelier pastels are quite soft. So um, throughout the painting, I've been doing that and then just layering on top, and it worked really well. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that I'm fairly new at pastels. I've only been doing them for a few months now. And so there's no real rhyme or reason to the way that I layer them. I'm just trying to pay attention to tonal value and highlights and shadows, cool and warm colors. But other than that, I'm still experimenting myself. So I'm not sure how helpful this will be but I was just 
playing around and see what would work and what wouldn't work. For the beak and the eye, I decided to use Carbothello pastel pencils, just because the area is so tiny and my pastels are a bit chunky. You'll notice throughout the painting I often um, tap my paper just to get the dust off. Normally I work upright so the dust falls down into a little uh, catch area that I have for pastel dust, but um, because I'm working flat for this video, I, uh, I just tap the paper into the garbage and let the, the dust fall into there so that I'm not blowing it into the air or breathing it in.
This little project was fun. I think I did overwork it a bit, but hey, you know, it was fun just learning how to layer and um, use the, the new paper. And um, would I do things differently? Probably, but all in all, I think it turned out okay. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you soon. Thank you.